Hello guys, today we'll discuss about respiratory efficiency test. These are the tests used to assess ventilatory functions. Along with this test, clinical examinations as well as other investigations are used to assess ventilatory functions. These are the tests used. Number one, will perform vital capacity. This has been taken in our previous video of spirometry. Link for the same that is shared in the description box. Second, that is respiratory minute volume. We'll discuss maximum breathing capacity, breath holding test, expiratory pressure test, and 40 mmHg endurance test. Respiratory minute volume, which is also known as minute ventilation or pulmonary ventilation. That is volume of air which is respired per minute. It is calculated by the formula that is equal to tidal volume multiplied by respiratory rate. Now, suppose the tidal volume is 500 ml and the rate of respiration is 12 per minute. So, our respiratory minute volume would be about 6 liters per minute. Normal range for this is 6 to 7.5 liters per minute. Now, next is maximum breathing capacity. That is maximum volume of air which can be ventilated on command during given interval of time. Here we are taking the interval of 15 seconds. So, how to perform this test? Ask the subject to ventilate as deeply and as rapidly as possible for 15 seconds in the Douglas bag. And volume of air is collected in the Douglas bag. Okay, suppose we are getting some amount of air, which is breathing capacity for 15 seconds. And we need this for 1 minute. So, we have to multiply whatever value by 4. So, we will get the value of maximum breathing capacity per minute. Normal value for maximum breathing capacity is 70 to 120 liters per minute. And it is reduced in conditions like emphysema, like in obstructive diseases, as well as in the patients having poor respiratory muscle strength. Next is breath holding test. The name itself suggests ask the subject to hold the breath and measure the time person can hold his or her breathing. Normal breath holding time for an adult is about 45 seconds to 1 minute. In breath holding test, after normal expiration, ask the subject to hold the breath and determine the maximum time which is known as breaking point up to which breath can be held. Now, let us perform. The normal value for adult is 45 seconds to 1 minute. And the breaking point is because of accumulation of carbon dioxide in the blood. And this carbon dioxide is going to stimulate the respiratory centers. That results in breaking point. Next is expiratory pressure test. For expiratory pressure test, sphygmomanometer is used. Here, there is a tube of sphygmomanometer in which ask the subject to inspire deeply and with nose closed. Ask the subject to expire through mouth in this tube and to raise the mercury column. And you have to measure to the maximum pressure up to which the mercury column can be raised. Normal value for the expiratory pressure test that is 100 millimeter of mercury. As we have discussed, ask the subject to inspire deeply and after that, with nose closed, ask the subject to expire in the rubber tube and to raise the mercury column. You can see here. Measure the maximum reading of which give the expiratory pressure. Next is 40 mmHg endurance test. In this test, ask the subject first to inspire deeply and then with nose closed, expire in this rubber tube and raise the mercury column up to 40 millimeter of mercury. And to maintain this for a while to which person can be able to expire and to hold. Normal value for this is 50 seconds for an adult. Here, ask the subject to inspire deeply and with nose closed. Ask the subject to expire and to raise the mercury column up to 40 mmHg. And ask the subject to hold the level steadily 
and count the pulse rate along with it so that when the pulse rate increases the procedure can be stopped the normal minimum means without appreciable rise in the pulse rate normal minimum time that is about 50 seconds let's perform Thank you.